Ash gang, what's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do? What it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. Want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning, get me on this wonderful day. Let's get started. Drive safely. I'm in Big Bertha today. She woke up. She wasn't having it. She cussed me out this morning. <sighs> Called me all kinds of names, but I forgive her. You know, I did cheat on her a little bit. Family, just picked up an order from Cracker Barrel, eight dollar order. I'm in a tight spot. There we go. I apologize for the video yesterday, man. I w I forgot to plug my camera up and it died on me. I thought I had enough juice to finish the um the video. Turn left on Cove Bent Drive. But I didn't. Tap a palm. All right, we got a uh, eight dollar order. Order here. So we're gonna go hand out this. Turn left on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. Yeah, I had an okay day yesterday, man. I'm gonna finish in the 200 club, guys. It doesn't matter what I do today. Turn left on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. I'm not gonna break the 300 mark. Ben, but don't break. Finish in the 600, 600 club. You already sent me his um his member fee. He <laughs> said, I say. Yeah, man, I had a good day yesterday. Couldn't complain. In 1.8 miles, turn right on Tampa Ponds Boulevard. All right, we need to get all the way over. Must be going to a domestic call. They don't have their sirens on and they're all going to the same spot. <laughs> Excuse me. Trina Zoo, I want to shout you out. I appreciate you for watching the videos, even though you don't comment that much. Welcome to the family. We glad that you are a family member. F you, I'm shouting you out. He spelled the whole word out, but I can't say that. This is a family channel. <laughs> Fred Douglas, I'm um, shouting you out. Trinity DC. But Corey. Uh, Vince the God, the real Ray King. Tim Cosmetic, what's up, man? I hope you feel better, man. I really do. Fancy lady, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you, too. Kim, what's up, Kim C? 26 degrees, that's where I need to be. One in the same. With, one in the same with diarrhea? Diarrhea? Oh, Diarrhea. <laughs> I thought it was diarrhea. <laughs> How you doing, love? Welcome to the family. Fria. Welcome to the family. All right, I got to go. I just want to do a little quick shout out. Then we're going to get us some coffee. been um kind of slow DoorDash a uh, lot of low offers I know it's Christmas time so people not tipping so when you see those three dollars offer that means there's no tip with it that's all that means people ain't tip it's almost like Grubhub if you don't, if the people don't tip, it's a low offer. I got to work today, man. So I'm only gonna dash for a little while. That's why I said I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna finish in the 200 club. I'm gonna go get it this week, though. I'm off Christmas. I'm not gonna dash Christmas. 
my daughter in town. I haven't seen her in two years. So I'm gonna um, spend time with her. Play some family games, you know. I'm the beast at everything we do. Whether it's uh, Monopoly, whatever we play, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna find a way to win. I don't let them girls beat me. You know how it is when you win so much, when they beat you, it's a big thing. They put it on Facebook, Instagram, social media. I'm like, damn, we just, I just lost one game in 30 years. You gonna put it on Instagram? My family hard, man. Turn right on Tampa Ponds Boulevard. I kill him at Uno. Uno, I, I, I kill him. Kill him dead. <laughs> we probably play some board games or something. Going back here to the big houses. Your house is humongous. In 1.9 miles, turn left on Bell and Woods Drive. But I hope everybody's doing well. Ooh. Mine didn't get your card in the mail in time, but you will get it. I'm going to get it right after uh, the next day. She going to kick my butt. My mother love her cars, man. I did so much running around, I forgot to go to the post office. Oh. I think I got a gate here. Let's see if we got a gate code. Once again, I seen a video where Door-ass woman stole some packages. 77. She went to Liverpool and stole all the daggone packages. Didn't leave none back. And she worked for DoorDash. Then I seen a video with the Uber Eats guy. Um, eat the people food. The girl walked right up on you. Don't you know when you get to that neighborhood, it show you exactly where you at? The app show exactly where you at. So the girl walked out of the house, walked up to the video. Dude was eating her food. He talking about he couldn't find her. She called the police and everything, man. Y'all got to stop this crazy stuff, man. We out here to provide customer service. If you that damn hungry, eat before you dash. I don't care how good the food is or where I go to or how, how hungry I am. I would never touch somebody for you. Cause I know what I do if somebody touch my food and I'm home. I be like a uh, black woman scorn. You know what I mean? When y'all y'all sisters get hungry, man, and they mess up your food, oh my god. There's been plenty of time my wife scared the hell out of me. She don't like onions. And I say no onions, no pickles. And they put extra onions and extra pickles on the sandwich. I took that sandwich in there. She was like, what the hell is this? I'm going to kill you. You never pay attention. I'm like, damn. Voice changed, eyes rolled in the back of her head. I got the hell out of that house. I went and got her the right sandwich. Came back, she was normal. I had a paranormal activity going on in my house. Y'all know, y'all women know how y'all get. I don't like you messing my food up either. Especially when I took the time out to explain to you exactly how I want it. I said, no onion, no pickle. She put extra onion and extra pickle. Left on Bell and Woods Drive. D house is nice back here, man. All right, got to put the boat gate code in. Excuse me. My wife just got over cold. Thank God I didn't catch it. Old man out here showing his 12 pack. Hey Santa. In a quarter of a mile, you 
will arrive at 16009 Bella Woods, Doctor. Stop saying doctor, it's drive. I remember one time I wasn't paying attention to uh, what she said, and she said doctor. I'm sitting up here looking for doctor, not realizing that it's drive. GPS got me again. This is our first order for the day. I got up late, man. Ginger was acting like a diva. She didn't see. She's not sleeping good at night when my daughter's gone. She know how to pound on the door. Ginger know how to knock on the door, family. Do you hear me? This half a knocks on the door. With her two paws, she stand on her hind leg and she just pounds on the door. And my dumb butt hollering about who is it? Oh man, I ain't, I ain't stopped the video, my bad family. I normally stop the video. I was apologize. Yeah, I got the camera charged up today, guys. That's for sure. How about them 49ers, man? We won a close one last night. We need to win that and win tomorrow, um, next Sunday. So we can uh, have home field advantage. But man, I tell you, man, the Rams look good, man. Patriots won yesterday, also. Of course, the Bucks lost. Sorry, team. We got people at work that call out to watch the Bucks game, get points to, to watch the team lose. Even though they won five in a row. You cannot miss games. You cannot miss work for sports, guys. I had a guy lose his job for that. How you gonna explain to your family that you pointed out because you called out every Sunday because you want to watch football? Football don't feed your family. If you're not playing on the team, it's okay to like a team, but don't become the team. If you're not getting paid, them guys getting paid. Come on, let them go, man. <laughs> I should've came through the front gate. Yeah, man. It's okay to like the team, man, but don't don't lose your job over a freaking football game. You could record, man. I could see even back in the day when we had VHS, we put that big old VHS cassette tape in there and we recorded the game. Nowadays, you ain't got to use no cassette tape. If you got Direct TV, hell, if you got any TV, you can hit record and it recorded for you. guy told me I like watching my game live well you gonna watch plenty of games now that hurt me to my heart man he had five kids and I had to I had to let him go because he pointed out I gave him I gave him hell too I gave him a speech all the way out the door he was like you ain't my father I ain't your father but now he gonna take care of them five kids tell you what if I was your wife I'd tell you quick you don't find a job somebody else would be in here taking care of these kids Bet you won't like that player. But I hope he found another job. I just thought it was stupid, man. Five Sundays in a row, he called out to watch football, man. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Man, he jobbed us. Now you can watch Monday night football, Thursday night football, Saturday football. You know what kills me, God? I hate to bring this up, but we need to stop doing it. I hate when people come to work every day on time, do what they supposed to do. They get mad one time and they say, I don't need this job. But if you don't need this job, then why do you break your neck getting here? And why are you the last one to leave? Because you need this job. If the job paying for your bills, taking care of your kids, take care of your needs whether you like the job or not you need that job I needs my job now if I would have quit my full time job to do DoorDash and they be sending me three dollar order oh my god I'd probably be mad I, boy, boy, I, probably, I don't know what I'd do but I tell you what I would have to work extra hard to get the food on the table because these little three dollar orders, man, they kill you. You can't turn all of them down. You can, but. I ain't doing no three dollar orders. I'm a thug. Thugs don't do three dollar orders. <laughs> you like that, Trini? <laughs> yes, uh, Cam C, what's up? Good to see you back on the channel. I miss all y'all when y'all not there. Miss Jackie, where you at, Miss Jackie? I ain't seen you in a while. Both Jackies. Don't make me hunt you down. Of course, I got to shout you out, um, MG. Got to shout my sister out. Benita, how you and your family doing? Hope y'all doing doing well. I hate when cops turn; they look right dead in your car and stare at you. I ain't even look at them. I'm trying to figure out why he's looking at me so hard. Is it my white shirt? Do he like Coca Cola? Or is it my smile? I don't know what it is. Bertha wasn't having it, man. I got up this morning. She was, she, she was up. She was ready to go. I walked up to little Bummer Beach. She said, uh-uh, don't you get in there. Don't you get in there. You left me behind yesterday. You're not leaving me today. So Bonnie and Clyde is back together, baby. She been running good too, guys. She been running good. I ain't, I, don't, I ain't get a fix yet. I was gonna get a fix with my bonus check, but my bonus check was uh, not worth talking about. It did us dirty, man, but it's okay, you know. I'm not gonna complain about it because they didn't have to do it. But I was not happy. Not a selfish person, but uh, we we did pretty good. We made a lot of profit this quarter. I was, I was hoping that you know they would take care of us, but it's all good. I just thank God for having a job and able to get a bonus. Most people don't get bonuses, so I'm not gonna complain. But I am unhappy with it. But I'm not gonna complain. Like I said, they didn't have to do it, but they did. So I'm happy. Very happy. I'm trying to figure out what this woman doing. Seems like she's trying to get somebody attention. Oh, she was waiting on her neighbor. So the day I work, man, we all phone. Um, when is Christmas? 25th. So Christmas is Tuesday or Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. Wow. 
Christmas is Wednesday. So we could we probably come in early Christmas Eve. Through the drive through because I mean, um, talking like a drive, drive through got it blocked up. System does not recognize this command. Big birthday, I ain't Please say nothing. Please rephrase your command. How about you stop doing that? I didn't say anything. All right, fam, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. All right, family, I'm back. No orders yet. No orders at all. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like on Sundays, it starts off slow. And then right before I go to work, they want to start sending me a bunch of orders. So do it as get yourself together. Card. Dollar store gonna be busy today. <laughs> but it's nice out today, guys. It's supposed to get up to 70 something, 63, 66 degrees out. Kim, I know it's cold where you at. Chibi, Christmas, 26 degrees. That used to be my favorite weather. I don't know now, guy. 40 something, I'm cold. <laughs> I think my body done got used to this Florida weather. Ah! She didn't put the top on tight. Oh, God. Hope y'all didn't hear my feminine cry. My scream. I'm gonna go grab my coffee. And the top popped off. That's a 13, Trini. Oh, man. Come on. I set it down on my pants. Now I got coffee ring on my pants. My wife gonna, she's not gonna be happy with that. Come on, love. You're welcome. System does not recognize this command. Please rephrase your command. I just spoke to a woman. I didn't cheat. I'm not cheating. Good right there, trend that's good right there. Can't be getting stains on my clothes, man. I gotta explain them stains. Why if you don't play that? Where did where this come from? How you get this? Hmm. What was you eating? Yeah, man. Diane, what's up? Ben, but don't break. What's up, Richard Lamont? I wish I was in the 600 Club. I could use that right before Christmas.
I think Fred, I think it was you, Fred, sent me, uh, I'm late with my email, an order for $144. That's a hell of a catering order right there, son, son. I was like, damn, I almost wrecked the car when I seen that email. I get, this top key popping off. I must be just strong. I get something like that, man, I lose my mind. I ain't lying to you. Yeah, when the video died, camera died yesterday, I had, had to do an order. I had a Walmart order too, two of them. The second uh, Walmart order I did, I had a great conversation with the woman. She was from Berlin. She ended up giving me a ten dollar. Uh, she added ten dollars to the order, so it went from uh, being eight dollars to eighteen dollars. Just by holding a conversation, man. She had Maryland tagged, and I said, you from Maryland? She's like, yeah, I'm from the DMV, you too? I was like, yeah, I'm from Maryland, blah, blah. We got to talking about different spots in Maryland. She said, I'm going to put a tip on your app. I said, well, I appreciate it. <laughs> and she did too, $10. We both said the same thing. Getting used to this weather has been the hardest thing. This heat here ain't no joke. When in the summertime, it ain't no joke. I'm gonna be alright this summer because when my daughter go to, when she moved to Japan, I'm taking her car. She gonna sell it to us, but she never she ain't gonna get no payments. your mother carry you. I'm going to make her feel bad. <laughs> All the things that you wanted, didn't need, just want to have, you got it. You going to charge us? Us? Your parents? Oh, hell no. I'm going to give her $2 and a smack on the tail and tell her, get the, get the stepping girl. Go on to Japan. Don't eat them cockroaches. Now they be living on living on base, so they get a chance to eat some real American food. I be on a fish diet. You can't go wrong with fish, especially if it's cooked. Can't feed me fish and say it's rat. Or you can't feed me a rat and say it's fish. I be strictly on the fish diet. Hope I ain't offend nobody by saying that. But I just, you know, I watch videos, man. I spend 99.99% of my time looking at um, different countries, learning their culture. Just something I, done, I got into. You'd be amazed, man. Y'all be amazed how we take things for granted that we have at our disposal and those that don't have it at their disposal. The, the struggle. So being American, man, don't take it for granted. Is you go to a different country with different cultures and you can't do this, you can't do that, you will see how life really is. But people always seem to find happiness in somewhere, you know. That's the thing, man. You got to find happiness through the storm, man. That's why I said, man, we, we always, I always try to be positive because... You know, your positivity can help somebody. It's easy to be negative. It's hard to be positive. It's easy to talk negative about everything. But it's hard to find the positive and the negative. You know what I mean? And 
if you can do that, family, you become a shield. You become like a bulletproof vest. Stuff will just bounce off of you. You're going to get mad. But you're not going to let it worry you. I don't take nothing until the next day, man. If I can help somebody out today, never take something until the next day. You and your wife get in an argument, and y'all don't finish that argument, y'all agree that the next day, it never happened. Unless he cheated on you, something like that, and then you have to, you know, that's something different. All right, family, look. I know this ain't been that much of a video, but I got a chance to talk to you guys. That's all I wanted to do. At least I did one order. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. If you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, get out there and do some Christmas shopping. If you haven't got the cards for your mother, get them cards. I know I'm not one to talk because my, my mom will get a card late. But as long as she get one, she happy, man. I'm trying to get better, mom. I'm trying to get better. All right, family, with that being said, I got to go, man. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. All right, family. Y'all have a great day. I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm not going to say Merry Christmas because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to I plan on running all the way up to New Year's Eve. But if I don't get a chance to see you, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to everybody that don't, you know, visit the channel regularly. Please make sure if you go out there for New Year's Eve that you go somewhere safe. Don't go to no parties and people act up and you end up getting hurt, or, you know. Always surround yourself with positive people so you can have a very, very, very Christmas and a happy, happy, happy New Year. All right, fam, I got to go. Love you guys. Peace.